good morning everybody welcome to episode 204 workouts done it's Florida it's hot because I don't need to tell you that every day and it's humid and it's muggy but hey the skies are blue today so back to our normal weather pattern it appears today's a crazy busy day so Gma is on her way over and um, today we make all the packets for the route 66 ride so we have to put all their lanyards, their patches, their t-shirts, their passport book, all of that. Um, we have to put it all in a package and get it ready to ship um, to everybody that's riding this. So we got probably about 100 packets to make today. Um, that always takes a lot of work and a lot of time, but we'll get it all done. And then we're on the countdown, nine days till we head out. and. Uh, Everything's coming together. Now we just gotta wrap up all the work stuff, make sure all the Route 66 stuff is in order and ready to go. And uh, we have a live tonight as well. So tonight is our last, our final live um, before we take off and the Route 66. So if you're interested in Route 66, well, you can go back and watch it. It'll be on the channel, but it was recorded last night. So um, go check that out if you have any questions about Route 66. Otherwise, yeah, long full day. By the time we get all of those packets done and then we hop on and do live, it's a, it's a, a 12, 14, 16 hour day. But we gotta get that stuff done so that we can uh, take off and do all our, all our other stuff. So, that being said, I'm gonna go grab some coffee and get busy. All right, guys, so if you watched the live last night, um, you're going to know that uh, we have chosen to go with Rever for our Route 66 ride. Um, and hopefully a lot more stuff with Rever in the future. But right now, I just want to get through the Route 66 ride, and then I'll tell you all about that. But um, Rever is a pretty, pretty cool app. Um, it has its quirks, uh, just like every app. I've not seen one that doesn't have something I wish was changed, um, Google Maps, um, Scenic, I mean, you name it. Um, they all have their issues, Apple Maps, and so on. So um, I chose Rever because bikers created it, um, and uh, it is, uh, it's got a lot of features that I really like, like um, communities. So you can build communities within the app so that you guys can share your rides. You can also see who's ridden the most for the month. If you're a competitive like me, that's kind of cool, right? And um, you can just create a community within um, the app where people can literally see one of your rides, click ride it, and they can ride the ride that you just took. So you can literally record the best rides in your area, and then someone that is uh, connected to you can see those rides, and they can take those same rides. So for me, that's a pretty neat feature. Um, so stay tuned. I will have more public stuff about that um, throughout uh, our trip to um, Sturgis and all and then when we get back this fall or winter I guess it'll be winter since we don't really have a winter it's more like fall but anyway um, when I get back I will do more like I said public stuff with Rever and uh, and uh, what I want to do with it and what I want to see with it in the future but anyway um, I just got done completing my video for um, all of our Route 66 riders and how that they get um, Rever and uh, Rever stepped up in a big way and they gave all of our Route 66 riders the pro version um, for a year for free so um, that's a great value for all of our riders they get to try out the app some have already tried it out for the world record poker run um, and admittedly on the world record poker run uh, we had I guess a lack of knowledge issue where a lot of people uh, we're trying to figure it out on the fly. We were trying to figure it out on the fly. So um, I've given everybody a month to play with it and get to know it now. So uh, we're pretty excited about that. But anyway, um, they sent me a bunch of swag that I'll be giving away on the trip. Check out that swag. Anyway, and uh, yeah, that's the plan is to use Rever. And uh, like I said, hopefully we can do a lot more cool stuff with it going forward. Because, I mean, ultimately that's what it's all about for me. I want to build communities. I want to build um, places where bikers can hang out. They can get support. They can give support. They can share their favorite rides. Um, they can just share their biker life 
with each other. Uh, whether that's uh, giving out tips and tricks on how to work on motorcycles or the best places to ride, all that stuff. I want to be, uh, I want to build a place where everybody can share that stuff and we can grow as a community. Um, and uh, you know, there's enough separation in the world. I don't care what you ride. Um, I want you to be able to go to one place and be like, I'm having this trouble with my Harley or my Honda or my Yamaha, or I'm looking for this part for whatever brand, doesn't matter. Um, I want one place where everybody can go find cool rides, find parts, find help and everything they need and get that support. So that being said, I better get off here. I've got more videos to do. I have a whole box of giveaways over here that I need to do uh, single videos on. Also, for Desi's bike, I bought this over the weekend. So this is a gas can that I'm going to bolt on the back of the V-Rod. So the V-Rod only has a three and a half gallon tank. I have five gallons, Angie has five gallons, Desi has three and a half gallons. So for this trip, um, I got a one point, I think it's a 1.4 gallon gas can that I can mount to the back of her V-Rod. So she will have essentially five gallons of gas for this trip as well. Uh, Cause I know there are some stretches, especially when you get out in um, California, that area that are pretty long between gas stops. And uh, her bike, like I said, only holds three and a half gallons. So it's good for probably 140, 140 ish miles so if i could put another gallon and a half in there you know she would be up the 180 200 mile mark um and uh, we don't want her running out of gas while we're gone so i've got to mount that this week but i think that'll be a big help on our trip that'll at least let me breathe easier because i'm always hunting for a gas station because she can't go as far anywho that's another project before we leave that i got to get done mama badger senna quit on her well one piece so her mesh quit working um so i got her a new um 30k so that she could um sync up with us while we're riding but uh that 30k of hers lasted what has it been almost three years um yeah at least three years and it's been through rain cold you name it um not to mention dropped and water and everything else so i i'm pretty impressed with the sinners mine's still going and so is desi's so anyway <sighs> a lot of people say cardo i've never tried it Senna's worked great for me so i'm going to stick with what i know and what works for me and uh, i'm rambling rambling on and on mama badger left her and granny Mama badger went to pick up some things so the passport books, they got done today. So they went to Cape Coral to pick those up. Um, the patches should be in at um, the mailbox today. And then tomorrow, the challenge coins for the ride should be here. So that's everything we need to finish um, the starter packets and get those all sent out this week. So everybody that's riding Route 66, watch for your kit your packet for Route 66 um, coming to your mailbox here soon. We'll get them out this week. Uh, I'm gonna get off here or I'm just gonna keep talking and talking and talking. We'll see you in a few. All right guys, all kinds of cool stuff coming in. So the Route 66 patch has arrived. Yeah. There's the patch. What do you guys think of that? What else did, what else did you get? Oh, are we doing that too? Might as well. All right, these, the cover turned out amazing on this i love the feel of this you guys are gonna love the feel <laughs> um and the inside we designed the inside and i think the inside turned out awesome i don't know if i want to show you guys because i'm like top secret yeah. stuff yeah but um i mean they they didn't turn out like it's uneven like i wish it was more professional looking i mean that's what we wanted was something nice so i'm a little unhappy with that but other than that i think I'm excited. I'm excited. Excited for you guys to get your hands on this. So that and that. And then we picked up more, more stickers because you guys, this was awesome. We passed a ton of these out and you can only get these. Well, you'll get them in your rider packets if you guys registered to ride and you only get these if you see us in person. Right. right, so you have to come up, you have to say hi. Um, we designed that because so many people will message us afterwards and be like, I saw you, but you were busy, so I didn't come say hi. Well, if you want a sticker, you gotta come say hi. Anyway, all this cool stuff's arriving so that we can make those kits and get this stuff out to you.